Maintenance of GRC is usually between three and four years. That's how they do it in Egypt. They sometimes they add chemicals to renew it. Sometimes they, they fill the gaps if it's necessary, but that's sometimes not such a great idea because, it, again, it shows because it's difficult to camouflage, which is what we said in the beginning. You can also change the color if you want to reapply a coat, or, or sometimes they, they change the pigment. Transportation is very important. Um, basically, how it's transported is from a crane comes from the factory to the truck, and then from the truck to the site. This truck in, includes the inverted T hanger, and it's, the T hanger is important because it hooks the GRC panels. Uh, of course, transportation has to be carried out with care because because of the inherent properties of GRC, which are the lightweightedness and the hollowness, so it could be easily damaged before even reaching the site. Technical specifications used in Egypt, mainly they use the uh, ASTM and the British Standard and the Glass Reinforced Concrete Association Standards, pre-stressed concrete institution as well. The main standards um, are, involve like water absorption, bending impact, compressive shear, and shear strength, thermal conductivity, sound isolation. Those are these are the main numbers. If you see the slides, these are the main numbers that the Egyptian GRC manufacturers abide by, and usually they all have it in their in their catalog to ensure that this is like abides by international standards. Um, this blue table the mechanical shows the mechanical properties of GRC. Um, usually, glass fiber is about five percent of the mix, three to five percent of the mix. Although, like, although the glass fiber, although makes up the main name of GRC, it's only five percent of the mix. And the reason for that is because of the the alkali resistance and the fact that it can replace steel reinforcement. Samples of the material, if you see the photos, um, you'll find that um, the material is smooth on one side and rigid on the other side. And you also find that in the hollow part, there are ribs. And the point of those ribs is that they need them because, because the section is long, and so it needs to be divided up using ribs. Um, now we're going to move on to uh, part B. And um, we visited three main local manufacturers. I think they're the only ones in Egypt. They're very rare. GRC suppliers are very rare. And the three that we visited are Depo, uh, Shibokshi, and Nile Pro. Uh, Depo, Egypt is, is located in the heart of Cairo and Heliopolis, but there are factories in, in the center of Ramadan city. Um, their scope, what they produce, their specialty is GRC, GRP, and GRT molds. And what their, I guess the main, their main demand is from their clients. Their clients usually ask for partition ceilings, water, heat, and sound insulation. This is what they have experience in prefab housing, paneling systems for Nile cruises. And they are a contractor, and so they, they supply. And so far they've, they've accomplished like over 110 projects. 130,000 years square of GRC products. And if you look at their project gallery, you'll find a lot of things that are familiar, like um, NSA, for example. You'll find um, mosques, residential buildings. You'll also find um, the, that Mobinil tower that looks like a palm tree. That's also done by um, Deco using GRC. Shibokshi is also um, easy to get to. It's in Nasser City. Its scope is GRC, GRP, and GRG. Um, most of their clients ask for external facades, walls and columns, uh, ceilings, and then there are other like small things like boats and jet skis. They're also a contractor. They're not quite as big as Deco, but they've also accomplished like over 40 projects in Cairo. In Cairo. And they also um, worked on um, some facilities in the AEC New Campus. Yeah. Surprisingly, it included the um, um, some of the, the urban furniture in the on the campus, such as even like the trash bin. If you look at the Shibokshi project, you'll find that um, they have some moldings on the uh, on corners of ceilings and on the, on various spaces in the walls, of course, as per requested by the client. My 
Alpro isn't quite as large a contractor as Deco and the Shibokshi. They only have 15 projects. They produce only GRC. They don't produce GRP or GRG. Um, you can find them in Salait, Kobba. And uh, they produce claddings. And their main focus is decorations for interiors. Um, their manufacturing methods are, are similar to Deco and Nile, uh, Deco and Shibokshi, sorry. Um, they, sometimes they use the manual spray method that we just showed in the video. Sometimes they use a, um, a mechanical method that also involves the spray. Second step is that they pre-mix the GRC and then the curing. This is, the, this is usually, this is basically the method of all of the, uh, of all three, um, suppliers. So there's, uh, their main projects include like the capitals of columns, you'll find them there. Um, like the details, like, like these leaf-like plant structures on the capitals, that's all GRC. That's in Dreamland. Also in Gardenia, they showed us the before and after of, uh, of the circular large plate created around the, uh, the ceiling. They also showed us the, the, pre, the preliminary stages of making columns, making the detail work, like these, this floral decoration on the columns. They showed us that. And also their work on some facades for buildings. And when you compare the cost between the three suppliers in Egypt, Deco, Shibokshi, and Lyle Pro, you'll find that uh, Deco actually has the small, uh, the least, um, it's the least expensive one of the three, and that's probably why they have the most large number of um, projects. Um, however, um, Deco and Shibokshi offer uh, GRP while Lyle Pro doesn't. That's probably why they don't get as many clients as Deco and Shibokshi. Uh, again, they're all within the same range, only like a 50 pound difference, and they're all pretty expensive, like one meter squared for about 500 pounds, which is a lot. But then again, people don't don't make uh, a large uh, number of meters squared. Uh, the last thing to wrap up this presentation is um, what can be, what can substitute GRC? Usually you could use marble, you could use glazed glass structures, and you could use just traditional surface paint cladding. That's what could substitute GRC. And our references are at the end, and that's the end of our presentation. Thank you.